On today's show, it's Wimby Mania in San Antonio as Victor Wimanyama posted a career-high 38 points already in his early NBA career in a win against the Phoenix Suns. Plus, what is Devin Vassell's role as a leader on this Spurs team? Jeremy Sohan, experiment at point guard, and so much more. It's all coming up right here at Locked On NBA. You are Locked On NBA, your daily NBA podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. What's up and welcome to another edition of Locked On NBA, the biggest stories with the local experts. I'm your host, Jackson Gatlin, also host of Locked On Rockets right here on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Now, today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Score early this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook, because right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins, and all you have to do is wager $5. It's that simple. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there is no better time to get in on the action. The app is so easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and so much more. Right now, you can take a look at the outright betting favorites for Super Bowl 58 right now. You've got the Kansas City Chiefs at plus 490 to win it all this season. The Eagles right behind them at plus 500. 49ers at plus 600. You got the Ravens at plus 850. And rounding out the top six, you got the Dallas Cowboys at plus 1100 and the Miami Dolphins at plus 1200. So for all of those odds and so much more, be sure to visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started this NFL season. Again, that's FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Joining us now is the host of Locked On Spurs, Jeff Garcia, who you can track down wherever you listen to your podcasts or on YouTube. Just search Locked On Spurs. And Jeff, it is Victor Wimbanyama's world, and we're all just living in it. He has been nothing short of incredible in his very, very short so far NBA tenure. But man, this past week, he's had some explosive games. The career high just in his fifth game ever, 38 points against the Phoenix Suns, who had absolutely no answer for him over the course of that game. Walk us through kind of what you're seeing from Victor Wembanyama in the early stages of his NBA career so far. Yeah, I I think what you're seeing now is a little bit more comfortability settling in uh, to start the season. Okay, fine. Give him a pass for the Dallas game, home opener loss, you know, saddle with foul trouble. But if you extrapolate that game and up into the Phoenix big game, it was quiet for three quarters, explosion fourth, quiet for three quarters, explosion fourth, which is fine. Okay, fine. You know, he's getting acclimated. But for me, I needed to see more consistency out of him. I needed to see a little bit of everything, periods one through four. You're starting to see that now. Uh, I think that Phoenix game, uh, second game of that back-to-back set, that was the launching point for him uh, versus Toronto. You saw a little bit of everything in each quarter. None of that quiet thing. And then, no, we're waiting for that moment. We're waiting for that moment. You know, I, 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 I love those are fun to do, but. You got to win games and Wimby's going to be involved in every single minute of this, of the uh, four quarters of basketball. So you're starting to see it take over to that point, And I am happy about that. Uh, I think the issue now is still chemistry with his teammates. You saw in the Toronto overtime loss. How do you not go to him in OT? I believe they only gave him touches one or two times the entire OT period. That needs to change. This is a guy who, as of this recording, is one of the best guys in the clutch so far in this early season. I think he's among the likes of even Steph Curry in those final clutch moments. So you can't get more clutch than overtime, so why don't you just give him the ball? And the Spurs did not do that. I was there post game uh, versus Toronto, and uh, he told the media on hand that he still needs to prove himself to his coaches and his teammates. So... It seems to me that even he is seeing that he still has that adjustment period. He's getting uh, more acclimated with his teammates. Uh, but so far, so great. I mean, this it's it's just Wimby mania in San Antonio. I mean, you were there recently. You you, you saw how uh, crazy it is right now for all things Wimby right now. It, what I like about him, though, is win or loss, he's very stable. He's not over emotional. Even when you get big wins in Phoenix and beating a supposed top team in the West, he's still poised for in losses poised. He's not getting overexcited. He's not, you know, you shouting out from the top of his lungs. We won. We beat Phoenix and Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. I beat my idol. He's not doing that at all. So yay Wimby. And this is a 19 year old. I sometimes have to tell myself when I'm in those media sessions with him, I'm about to talk to him. Like I'm talking to a teenager. 
I'm talking to a 19 year old and you feel like he's not that. Uh, so all Wimby 24 hours in San Antonio, 24 hours in the NBA, basically, just to be honest, you know, it's just Wimby all the time. Um, what I need to see though, is consistency out of him moving forward. I would like to see him get more vocal with his teammates. I would like to see him kind of say, you know what? Give me the bleeping ball. I need to see him take more initiative in that department. I would love to see him establish himself. Now, you know, I don't mean to step over your rundown because I know what it is, but Devin Vassell, <laughs> you know, he is the heart and soul as the leader of this team. He made it very clear day one media day. He is the leader. He wants to be the leader. He is that guy. You saw this team sputter versus Toronto without him. And I really thought that without Devin, one, two, one of your one-two punches there, it would just be all Wimby, just give him the ball, give him the ball. No, 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 no. It was Kelvin Johnson step, stepped up 26 points in that overtime loss. Devin Vassell has really emerged in taking that big step in his NBA career. You're seeing it before your eyes, over my eyes, every single game. He added size over the offseason. He's absorbing contact better. It's He's he's having great statistical nights at 20 plus points so far. Was really the spearhead, one of the spearheads versus Phoenix and those two wins out at the footprint uh, arena. So you're I loving what I'm seeing. Dare I see so far a Batman Robin situation? The question is, who's the Batman right now? Is it Devin Vassell? And is just is Robin the Wimby? Because you know, he, the the young war still needs to learn the ropes from a veteran like Devin Vassell, or is it just Wimby the Batman and Devin Vassell is the Robin? We don't know. I like to see how that's going to plan out. Those are definitely your one-two punches so far for San Antonio this season. It very much. First off, the Wimby mania is absolutely absurd. Like being there in person and seeing him play yeah. against the Rockets, you have to really see Victor in person to garner an appreciation for just mm -hmm. how yeah. unique he is as a player yeah. and some of the things that he does on the basketball floor. And then you look at the fact that he's leading the Spurs in like every major statistical category except assists. Mm. He's averaging 20 and a half points. That's leading the Spurs. Eight rebounds, team leader. 1.4 yeah. steals, 2.2 blocks, leading the team in all these different statistical categories. I'm mm -hmm. glad you cleared up, you know, the Devin Vassell's role because he is, you know, he's secured the bag this summer with San Antonio. And I think that's kind of his de facto role as the leader of this team. So mm -hmm. from a talent perspective, right, you may make the argument. Yeah, Wimby's more talented yeah. even right now than Vassell, but he is still the leader of this team. I am well, curious. Oh, sorry. Go yeah. ahead, Duff. Go ahead. Jeff. No, no, I was going to say, I spoke to an NBA scout recently and take a while, guess, while that person, why that person was at the, at the uh, Frost Bank for Wimby. But in my conversation with the scout, it wasn't about Wimby. It was about Devin. They were asking me about Devin. Who, you know, this is him. So he's catching NBA scouts' eyes right now. You know, obviously, you know, there were some, even there in Toronto, all looking at Wimby. But, you know, it's not surprising for me when I see NBA scouts at the, at the Frost Bank Center for them to shift their focus about Devin. No, look, I mean, this Spurs team is obviously it's it's Wimby mania, but there this Spurs team is so much more than just Victor Wimbyama, and that's kind of what you're seeing is he's you know, this insane talent, obviously, and he's helped elevate the Spurs team, but you've got pieces like Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Zach Collins, who's a wonderful compliment to Wimby in the front court. Chetty Osmond was a sneaky pickup. Trey Jones off the bench. Yeah, like, this this Spurs team yeah. has a lot of important pieces. The last guy that I want to get your thoughts on really quick, though, here, Jeff, is Jeremy Sohan and this experiment kind of, you know, him <laughs> running the point, playing alongside yeah. Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell. Like, how How is that going so far? Is this going to be kind of a long-term fixture that you think we're going to see, or is this kind of a a temporary thing right now that pop is trying i try not to look like this guy whenever i see uh sohan with the ball just upset and angry and ready to go <laughs> you know full dark side mode but i think the spirit the experiment might end sooner than later you look at the plus minus when trey jones is on the court i mean if they say numbers don't lie numbers don't lie when trey jones is on the court it was him who steadied the the, the storm versus uh, Houston. Uh, sorry that about that. Uh, and that win, <laughs> and, uh, you know, at the uh, the Frost Bank uh, Center. It was him that kept the team at least competitive versus Dallas in the opening night game. I spoke. I've spoken to Trey Jones. Uh, spoke to him after the games. He's telling me that you know what's he going to say? You know, he's going to say like, oh, you know, I hate that I'm coming off the bench. No, but he's accepted it. And he's moved forward. I talked to Zach Collins about that uh, Trey Jones off the bench thing. And he says that he likes it, that it's a calming force for the uh, second unit. If they're up, 
then at least they know they got a guy that can maintain that lead uh, over a p- opposition. Or if they're down, you know, you got a guy that can come in and really calm the calm the waters down. I think it has to end. I, I in my opinion, it has to end. You're you're seeing Sohan, who admittedly is still saying that I'm still learning the position. You have Trey Jones saying it too, like he goes, I, I'm seeing Sohan. He's trying to learn it right now. So I think the the rub is. The, the Spurs are thin on point guards, like those those calming forces. That's why I was shocked when they let go of campaign. I did not expect that. I thought, yeah, obviously you want campaign, even if you start her off the bench. You know, that's two viable options to go to. But I see what Pop is doing. He wants that big lineup out there. He wants that defensive mind, that lengthy, you know, play the rim, play the lanes. He wants that unit out there. Uh, and they're all complementary to Wimby. And you know you, 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 you it, I think it just has to end. It Spurs Spurs fans are like this right now. Spurs fans are fed up. Spurs fans are igniting that red lightsaber and asking when is this going to end? When is this going to end? The the pulse of the fan base and that topic, it's irate. There's, I I I, I don't know. I, I I just think that it has to end soon because you're losing these close games. You lost a close game against Dallas. Uh, you know, possibly, you know, I, I think it was just more Devin Vassell being absent versus Toronto and them just being dumb, blowing a 20. Anyway, now I'm turning into that right now. Sam, you're, you're making me think about that loss there. You know what? It's, it's all good. We're, we're, we'll, we'll, call, we'll calm it down, but hey, we, we are, you're going to have us covered so much over at Locked on Spurs yeah. weather. Who, who's the, who's the Batman? Who's the Robin between Devin Vassell yeah. and Victor women Yama and how much longer the Jeremy Sohan at point guard experiment is, is going to go on for you. You, you got can us see it's for... hurting me right now. You can feel it. You can feel it right now. <laughs> You've got us covered for all of that and so much more over at Locked on Spurs. Jeff, I appreciate you stopping by Locked on NBA with me. Yes, sir.